2022. What a year it was. I think my favorite part was when Anyway, I also made a lot of great recipe videos during the year. Uh, update videos and travel vlogs don't count, by the way. And I'm gonna do something I haven't done in a while. Make a nice tier list of all my favorite episodes. And if you're pissed off that this is not a recipe video, hey, I got a vacation coming up. I can't spend too much money. I'm already running on fumes as it is. You wanna help out? Support me on Patreon, like the video, subscribe. Let's begin. Starting off in chronological order, starting with French onion beef stew. Okay, so the story goes, I went to a restaurant, ordered a bowl of French onion soup, dig into it, and I was kind of underwhelmed. I guess I expected it to be more hearty, but it just wasn't delivering. So I decided to turn it into a beef stew, hence French onion beef stew. Now, when I served it to my family, I got complaints saying that it was just a bit too salty. I think that was the soy sauce I added. And, uh, but I wanted to add more depth to it. You can use salt, but let me tell you, using soy sauce just unlocks a whole new dimension. Now, the recipe is awesome, but the video is just short of awesome, so I'll put it here in the A tier. All right, next recipe we have is Cajun chicken pasta. And, Listen, it tasted fine, but man, something went wrong during filming and I mean, the recipe was fine, but I really need to go back to the drawing board on this one. But for now, I'm gonna put it here in the D tier. My smooth and creamy mashed potatoes I made with a potato ricer. Using a potato ricer and European butter resulted in a nice, silky, smooth potato recipe. But uh, my execution l could use some improvement, so I'm gonna put it here in the C tier. Wagyu Bento. I have really mixed feelings about this one. It's a great recipe. I think it makes for a wonderful bento box. So yeah, the recipe's great, but uh, man, the video is so edited clunky. It's some of my worst editing ever. I mean, take a look at this scene. Oh, this is so beautiful. I gotta show some of that sexy. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, I owe you an explanation. It turns out that uh, the song that I was originally going to use for that scene got copyright striked. And since I wanted to make money on the video, I had to replace it with a non-copyrighted song in, uh, well, post post-production, if that makes sense. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, YouTube has an in-browser video editor just before you upload your video. And that's pretty much what I did. I should have deleted the video and re-uploaded it with new music, but I was so tired, I just kind of just farted it out. So, if it wasn't for the fact that this is a good recipe, it go in the E tier, but I'm putting it in here in the B. Mmm, red wine pot roast. It was pretty good, but um, I don't remember a lot about the video. Confession time, I didn't watch any of these videos before filming this. Probably should have. But um, you know what? This is a good video, good recipe, and good gravy. No, literally. I made gravy from the stock. It was delicious. So, A tier. Chicken and sausage gumbo. Now I know gumbo is normally a seafood dish, but you can also make it with, uh, you know, non-seafood items like what, what I did. Long story short, in my opinion, both the video and the recipe are just short of being perfect. So, another A tier. Red pozole. It's a Kitchen Corrections episode where I went after Rachel Ray and her horrible gentrified pozole. And before I continue, there's a right way and a wrong way to put creative spin on menudo. I did it the right way by keeping most of the ingredients authentic, except for one ingredient, pork belly. It was boneless and be 
Come on, it's pork belly. How can you say no? And Rachel's creative liberty is wrong because, well, there is no pork stock or pork in her pozole. And that is just the tip of the iceberg, friends. That said, I'm going to put this in the S tier. I love the video. I love the recipe. I hope I can make it again one day. Let's continue. All right, rice cooker clay pot rice. Uh, man, I love this stuff. I make it more often than you think I do. And the video is great too. So, another S tier. Sous vide char siu pork. Let me tell you right now, this stuff was tasty, but kind of flawed in hindsight. I don't know. It just didn't come out as tender as I thought it would. Eh, I still need to work out a few kinks on it, so... I'm gonna put it here in the B tier. Pressure cooker hummus, I really outdid myself with this one. And I'm really having a hard time whether to put it in the S or the A tier. Cause I like the video, I like the recipe. Eh, S tier, why not? Uh, wet burrito recipe. So long story short, I tried to recreate a wet burrito in the style of a restaurant down by where I used to live. And I think I was able to get it 90-ish percent there. But it's sort of perfect because eh, I need to work on the chili sauce a bit. So I'll put it here in the A tier. Onigiri. You know, what I made was great, but it could use some serious work. And I guess I miscalculated just how flooded YouTube was with Onigiri videos. So this feels like a solid C to me. Pork fried rice. I just basically turned the leftover chashu pork into pork fried rice. I mean, just thinking about it, just making my mouth water. So honestly, that's all I have to say. So S tier. The New York City style papaya dog. You know, out of all the things I recreated for my travels, I liked it, but I didn't love it. So, but I also feel like the video itself is pretty cool. So. Another eight here, right here. Five Coca-Cola cocktails. I love this one. I have no idea why isn't it more popular. These are perfect summer drinks. Hell, you don't even need to wait for summer. You can just make one of these right now. I think I'll make the Cuba Libre later. I like the video. I like the recipes. S tier. I wish it got more. I wish it got more views, but beggars can't be choosers. Beer battered hot dog with beer cheese sauce. Thinking about it now it gets my mouth watering, but uh, truth be told, this isn't one of my stronger videos. And I just completely forgot that I made a beer cheese recipe video sometime last year. Or was it the year before? Anyway, it still tasted good, but uh, not one of my stronger ones, so I'll put it here in the C tier. The Gummy Venus de Milo from The Simpsons. You know, it was, it was okay. I mean, Venus was delicious, if a bit too floppy headed, but, but eh, I don't know. I happened to go through all that trouble with the mold making. Eh, I don't know. I'm feeling a B here. The all chocolate creme brulee. You know what? I think this is a good recipe. I just don't think the V is great. So I'll put it here in the A tier. Sous vide flank steak. It's based on a recipe I never had. Basically, I recreated a flank steak dish at a restaurant I went to when I went to Arizona back in 2021. And I'm just looking at this other guy's plate with the food and I'm just like, oh man, I should have ordered that. I was able to write a wrong to some degree, so I'm gonna put this here in the S tier. Sous vide hamburger. It tasted good, but I still got lots of keeps to work on it. And uh, cooking it in a kitchen will generate a ton of smoke. So, and while I think the video is a fine, the recipe video, in my opinion, leaves something to be desired. So, another deed here. Cajun wet wings with rumble lot sauce. This would go in the S tier if I hadn't messed up and skimped on the spices. 
But man, this stuff is so good. My mom made me remake the same thing next weekend. So apart from uh, some recipe oopsies, I think I'll put it right here in the A tier. Grilled beef shawarma. And if you're an eagle-eyed viewer, you'd know that is not the shawarma I made in the episode. The one I made in the episode was just so... Blech. I overcooked the meat, and I cut it the wrong way, and it just... While it was still edible, it just left something to be desired, so... And even though I did have fun making the video, eh, this really does feel like an E tier. Salted caramel fondue but I wouldn't really be in a hurry to make it, so I'm gonna put it here in the B tier. Recipe's good, B's okay, but looking back on it, I just kinda of feel, eh, leftover steak breakfast hatch. I mean, this recipe's simply genius. I mean, you take an old steak, you cut it up, and fry it up into a hash. Man, I really wish it got more views, so I'm definitely putting this in the S tier. Uh, speaking of steaks, there's also the dry age steak video, and man, let me tell ya, if I wasn't financially running on fumes, I'd go out, buy another big piece of prime beef, and start the whole process over again. Sure, it takes 45 days, but ho oh, ho oh, oh, ho, so worth it. Sadly, what doesn't make sense is my demi-gloss video. Eh, it's clear that it was still a work in progress when I filmed. It's not my greatest recipe. I didn't get that umaminess I was expecting from this, so... Uh, yeah. Yep. You're going the F tier, I'm afraid. Human meatballs. Basically, Meatballs that are in the shape of humans that are made of humans. If they actually were. But they're not. I did some research and it turns out that if you were to cook human meat, it tastes very similar to pork and veal. So I made some nice pork and veal meatballs. Or meat humans. And, uh, it's fine, but really gonna miss them that much. So, B tier. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Cookies. It didn't really give me the result I wanted, but it was still a really good video and a really good recipe, so I'm gonna put it here in the A tier. Philly Cheesesteak with Homemade Cheese Whiz. You know, I thought I could improve on the cheesesteak by making homemade cheese whiz. Boy, what was I thinking. To me, you can't polish crap, so E tier. Eggnog Panna Cotta. Definitely an improvement over my last one. So, but I wouldn't say it's dessert perfection. So, A tier. Sous vide holiday ham. This was a weirdly successful video of mine, especially during Christmas. Oh, you know, this is a wonderful Christmas recipe, if a bit fancy, because, you know, sous vide. But you know what? I feel like this belongs right here in the S tier. Christmas Bark. It didn't do that well, but man, I love this stuff, so... You know what? Screw the haters. S tier. Christmas Fried Rice. You know, if you have leftover holiday ham, this is a great recipe video, but... I highly doubt you have leftover white rice too, so, eh, I don't know, man. Fried rice with, uh, tartu pork just tastes better, so, A tier. And that is my tier list. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Comment down below. I'll see you next week with another filler video. Bro, I'm on vacation. Let me have a break, please. Thank you.